Hi, I'm Sonia, and you to be first. This is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try to force a crowd to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen, and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crowd. So only take resonates and leave the rest of someone else, and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please be careful of scammers. I will not reach out to you for a paid reading. You have to reach out to me first through my website or my Facebook page. Um, and just as please do not get scammed. The cards that I use are Mystic German Tarot by Heidi Dreyer Survivor Moore and Gilded Tarot by Kira Machetti. Hope you're doing very well. Hopefully the full moon wasn't too tough for you recently. And that the retrograde is not too difficult too. Hmm, be careful people can return in this time. This is a collective reading for Sagittarius. Welcome Sagittarius. Hope you're doing very well. Let's get right into it now. This looks like somebody is getting judgment. This could also be that you have rewards coming in and somebody else or somebody is getting judged for what they've done. So if you've done good, you're going to be getting rewarded and if you've done bad, you're going to be getting judgment. This is spirit blowing the horn here and it's time for you to get your just rewards. Somebody here is watching. Somebody's watching you as you get your rewards. This is also justice. So it could be that you're watching. Someone's watching that you're getting your, like, rewards. And you're getting, like, you know, balance. You're getting really balanced. Everything's the scales are balancing. And it looks like it's kind of like, wow, you got judgment and justice. So it looks like it could be a court situation even. And somebody is definitely watching. So somebody is watching as you get your rewards. This could be a Libra as well. It looks like there's somebody that could be, they could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wow, looks like you're getting justice for what's been happening to you. So this is also Cancer energy. So this is actually the chariot. So things are starting to move forward. You're moving forward. It looks like you're moving towards reunion here. You're moving towards union and it looks like you're going to be, it looks like a marriage situation. You're moving forward with somebody and you've got celebrations coming in. This is also a third party situation. So it could have been you've been dealing with a heartbreak. So you kind of like being healing. Maybe there's somebody who's moving away from a third party situation. Which is, you know, like a little bit heartbreaking. There's some heartbreak that needs to be healed, it looks like. And like someone's coming into union with you. Could be a cancer energy. They don't have to be though. Distant past, you've had a lot of conflict. So there's a lot of conflict you've been dealing with. Arguments, disagreements. It looks like you've had some karmic situations where you're stuck in this situation. It could, could have been like self-imposed prison and like just so much disagreement. So this is also happiness and joy. You haven't wanted to deal with any of this kind of drama and you're wanting to have some, you know, happiness and joy. So this is also like trapped. Trapped, bound and gagged. So stuck in a crossroads, stuck in a like self-imposed prison, cut the blindfold off some other roses. So this is a recent past. You've had new love come towards you. Looks like that you could have been loving yourself more. You're moving forward from the drama and the conflict into the calmer waters. And it looks like you're doing very well on your own. And you like, you know, you're like abundant on your own. You're like tame the beast like you're tame the bird on your hand. And this is somebody here who's offering their cup here to, you know, maybe for new love. So it's filling your cup as well. Loving yourself first. And it looks like there's maybe new love that's seen you is coming towards you. Your thoughts are maybe about a Leo. So it could be that you're thinking about a Leo. Or it could be that you're thinking about happiness and joy. Well, it looks like you could be thinking about a Leo. We have two knights here. Somebody wishy-washy. This person's wishy-washy. They could be. A, this could be Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Maybe you're indecisive. Maybe this is like you're wanting happiness and joy. But you're going back and forwards with the idea. But there's also someone impulsive that's coming rushing in here. And they wanted to come in maybe and have some happiness and joy with you. You're thinking about two knights here. One that rushes in impulsively and really just wanted to come and speak the truth. And another one who's wishy-washy and is gone tomorrow. So you have two knights possibly you're dealing with. Two people. One could be a fire sign and one could be an air sign. Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. And Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So the future here is you really need to make the decision. Because you're stuck at a crossroads. You need to take off the blindfold and make a decision. This person is stuck. You may, It looks like you could be quite defensive as well. So in the future here, you really need to make, need to make some decisions. 
you got your wands around you, like all protective, like, and you're ready to fight back here. So there's somebody here as well that's been breadcrumbing. So they weren't giving equally, so you've kind of been stuck in a situation where someone hasn't been giving, and you've been giving a lot more than this other person. So they, it looks like you want an equal give and take now. So it's like you need to make a decision about moving forward because it looks like that you're accepting breadcrumbs. So this is your fears. Why would someone be fearing amazing wealth? So there's somebody here who's fearing that you're getting amazing wealth and they are in poverty. So there's somebody here who is like holding on to you, possibly fearing that you've got this amazing wealth coming towards you and they want to hold on to you and they're feeling a little bit lack mindset. Oh, it looks like there's a painful ending as well. So you've got a painful ending and it's someone who was juggling. So they're trying to hold on to you now after this painful ending. So they're fearing that now you've got this amazing wealth coming towards you. And they want to hold on to you. And because it looks like they're struggling. Too bad. How others see you as a fool. Oh, they don't see you as a fool. But maybe they, they're a fool. Maybe this that just they're seeing you as starting on a new journey. And you take leaps of faith. <clears throat> you trust in the universe and you just jump. So they like see that you really just... Um, that you trust, you trust the un universe, and you just go. So it looks like you're walking away from the third party situation. This is you walking away from this drama and disagreements, and like you know, walking away from the gossip, walking away from this third party with so much drama around them. You're taking a leap of faith. So if someone wants to take a leap of faith towards you, possibly, and be a knight in shining armor. They want to sweep you off your feet. So we have three knights here already in this reading. We oh my goodness we got all the knights again. Ah, <sighs> dropped it. Hopes this is your hopes here. This is you're hoping for somebody is very attractive to you. So you're hoping for somebody who could be a Leo Sagittarius and Aries. This could be you. It looks like someone's hoping for another chance with you because they find you so attractive. Oh look, this is happiness and joy. This is like really just the happily ever after. And this is also an emperor. So this is a masculine energy. You're hoping for a masculine energy. You're feeling a lot of passion. And this is Aries energy. So this person is a divine masculine. They could be... They embody all the king of, kings of the deck. So they're very... Um, very... They're the best king of the deck. So this person could be a little bit controlling of their emotions. They don't always show it outwardly. You know, they can just keep it to themselves often. But it looks like that there's happily ever after. And there's a lot of attraction as well. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So the outcome here is the last knight in the deck. So this is the last knight. So we've got all four knights in the deck. And so this is somebody here who's coming in towards you. They're really slow moving. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They get their stuff together, then they come forward. But you're waiting for a little while. So maybe you're going to be waiting a little while for this person. So it's your decision whether you want to wait but it's also somebody here has a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights. They are, you know, this is a shocking event. Shocking ending, sudden ending, and like somebody here is up all night and they can't sleep. So this is actually spirit bringing down this tower and it's an ending. And you're definitely moving forward. You're moving forward. This is cancer energy. You're moving into this new beginning. And the, it looks like there's somebody here who's taken too long possibly. But you're also kind of like hanging around. Maybe you're seeing the truth of things and you're starting to move forward. Because there's this person who's taken too long to come towards you. They kept you waiting so long. So this is you possibly just moving forward. And let's see what else we need to know. What else do we need to know about this reading please? What is this about? This ending. What is this ending? Oh it's a new cycle. Looks like. New cycle. What is this chariot? Magician. Okay. <gasps> Hmm, interesting. So the outcome for sure is you're manifesting something new. You are moving forward into a positive new cycle and you have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, masculine energy. So it's like financially stable. You're going to be financially stable and it's also maybe there's this person coming towards you. Could be a boss energy, someone you manifested, someone that's financially stable. And it could be that you're moving forward into this and that you're manifesting something new here. This is like someone that could be a boss or a father figure. This could be you or this could be somebody else where you're getting financially stable and you are like really doing amazingly with this Wheel of Fortune here. And something you manifested and you're moving forward for sure. 
Virgo Taurus Capricorn and you're moving into a positive new cycle. So very happy for you Sagittarius, bye!